So what do you guys think? Rivian stock has another 20% downside. According to one Wall Street analyst, one person is saying that Rivian is going to fall another 20%. Now, if you haven't seen the earnings report from Rivian or at least the price over the last couple of days, yes, the market in Rivian has fallen off a cliff, fell 25% on the 22nd of February. Is it going to fall another 20%? Let's see what this article has to say. Rivian Automotive failed to impress investors hoping to hear about a surge in production and sales for the EV maker in 2024. That led UBS analyst Joseph Spack to double de double downgrade double downgrade the stock from buy to sell last friday spec also slashed his firm's price target from $24 to a wall street low $8 per share what took it so long you mean to tell me that rivian had to report earnings right here on the 21st of february when the price of one stock was around $15, $16. Their price target was all the way up here at 24. It took the stock to fall 26% for this UBS analyst to go and drop their newest price target to $8. Are you serious? That would represent a 66% drop in the target price and a more than 20% decline from Friday's closing price. And that's after the stock has already tanked on the news. These analysts take, they're always last. They're always late to the reaction. They always react rather than coming and being proactive. They be reactive to a stock's price. They react after the earnings is released. But then you begin to wonder like, what's the purpose of even talking to these people when they only react after a market has gone either in a positive or negative direction? With all of the advent of technology that we have today, why are they not able to at least predict? Like their price targets should be more in line with what's predictable, but they don't do that. They still come out once the earnings has been released, then they come in and revise their targets. And many of their revision of their price targets is astronomical out, out the way. It has no relation to where the price of the market currently has these stocks. As always, they don't really speak negative on these businesses that they cover. The UBS analysts remain positive on Rivian's product and brand, but with no growth in 2024 and continued cash burn, it now seems likely that Rivian will need to raise fresh capital at some point. Uh oh, what does that mean? Yep, dilution. They're going to issue out more shares. And that would mean if you guys hold any Rivian stock, it's going to be worth less because they're going to increase the supply of the stock out in the market for sale. So maybe that 20% drop that they were talking about, it might be realistic because if they're burning through so much cash and they're not going to produce a whole lot of EV vehicles for 2024, how else can they sustain themselves? That's one of the biggest reasons as to why companies go public is because they're able to create value out of nothing. They just issue out new shares and everyone else who's been holding on to the original stock has now saw their value dwindled, reduced. So I think that's a heads up to the people who value this stock. UBS is, is forecasting that Rivian is going to issue out more shares just to stay afloat. Rivian's next generation R2 platform is expected to bring a lower price vehicle into his lineup, but the R2 won't be available until 2026, two years from now. And Rivian will need plenty of cash both to build a new plant and continue selling vehicles at a loss. Rivian ended 2023 with a little more than $9.3 billion in cash and equivalents, but that isn't likely to get it to the launch of his R2 platform. So they got $9.3 billion 
in cash and equivalents. Now, I don't think 9.3 billion is all cash. That's why they added those two words and equivalent. But that's a lot of money. And UBS is still looking for them to raise cash. Now, in my opinion, I think they're going to do it by issuing out shares. A fresh capital raise likely would push the stock even lower. That makes UBS target a reasonable outcome unless something unexpected like partnering with another automaker occurs. Rumi could be a winning stock, but the stock could well keep falling from here first. Rivian could be a winning stock, but the stock could well keep falling from here first. Okay. Might need to get AI to start checking these articles before they release it. But what do you guys think? If that occurs, I mean, we've already predicted that Rivian was going to go down. And it's so much so that it broke through our buy zone. Yep. So we're still on course for our analysis to be that Rivian is weak. Now from Friday's close. Okay. So let's go from Friday's price. 20% down from what the analyst is talking about. That gives us a price target of around $8. Okay. That would definitely take us past our ultimate TP price. I told I maybe told you on the video. I was like, I don't know how low it's going to go. Depending on how much cash they're going to raise. If that's going to happen, then it could go a lot lower than that. I mean, the floor, there's no floor right now in Rivian. I'm just going to keep it real. There's not a floor. We haven't res resulted or seen buyers step in to keep the market in Rivian propped up. We, ha we haven't seen it yet. So, yeah. Just give me your thoughts. I'm not going to change my price prediction. I'm going to continue to look forward for price to be weak and continue to go lower to the downside. I will change my price prediction once I continue to see the market hold strength and then the market comes and exceed this high of when the market fell through on earnings release. I had to come in and readjust it then. But until then, you guys get my thoughts. Let me know yours. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, hold on, let me check something out first before I let it go. Let me look at on the monthly chart. Because we got a day left. So yeah, that definitely looks pretty weak into the market in Rivian. And if the chart is an idea as to whether or not a business is being successful, Rivian is not that successful. Now, it looked like it was trying to form a base right here. But as you can tell, it, it's trading below that base now. Okay, so yeah, there, there's some hardships going on into the market in Rivian right now. And like I said, maybe the stock price is the least of their concerns. But we'll talk. Give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.